Chef Talk with Kyle Cherick is brought to you by the following presenting sponsors. Mandel and the North End. For more information on these or other supporting sponsors, please click on the banner ads to the right of the Chef Talk episodes for links directly to their websites. Oh, yeah. In the, uh, in the protein world, this is called separating the wheat from the chaff. <laughs> kind of. <laughs> Although, we're going to use the chaff. Yeah, you were in, uh, like, like, knife zone, buddy. Yeah, but hey. You're good. Don't worry about it. I feel comfortable around you. There's something very comforting about you. Oh, yeah? That, and, that, until it isn't. Yeah, usually that's how it goes. Yeah, uh, it was yeah, I so, felt completely was safe. was great until he stabbed me. Right, I felt completely safe until I wasn't. <laughs> so what happens is it, it dries off and it seals up. Uh, basically all the flavor intensifies. Yeah, but this is it's, like four times prime. Yeah, the, well this is actually a mix of the of the Wagyu and the Red Angus. So, so you can't technically call it prime because it's so much better than that. No, I mean, you can. I mean, but what's what's happened, it, because it's a cross, it's not a 100% wagon. Yeah. So, um, but look at the, I mean, look at that marble. You can't walk into the retail store and ask for that. And how yeah. rare is it to get that cross? Uh, he has, Mike's has a couple lined up. So they'll be coming down more frequently as the months are going on. So, But in this restaurant only, you're not going to walk into another restaurant, steak no. place, and say, I like a Wagyu. Uh, and Kobe Cross, please. Yeah, I think that's when they drop you my business card and say come to Carnivore. <laughs> so. so this is how to do a steak at Carnivore, Simple Steps 101. Yeah. First of all, get an awesome steak that's a cross of Kobe and Wagyu. Good luck. <laughs> yeah, good luck with that. Yeah. I'll yeah. see you in a couple months. Right. <laughs> Second of all, what's the next step? you got to narrate for us. We're going to get this thing screaming hot. Um, Steel plate? Yeah. And uh, they don't they don't warp, so it's able to stand up to the temperature. This this broiler gets up to 1600 degrees. Basically, what happens is that when we're busy and it's all like uh, you know we're like super stacked with tickets and meat, whatever we put in there, we can put a Buick with saber in there, <laughs> and the broiler will not cool down whatsoever. Wow. So uh, black ice, no. You're Definitely gonna have some hot water in a second. So <laughs> uh, yeah, so we're gonna get this piping hot, and then we'll just sear it off really quick in there. Um, it's very simple. There's no rest. There's no secret recipe. It's just kosher salt, fresh cracked black pepper. Get out of the way of the meat. That's that's it. Yeah. And let the meat do it do itself. You just season it up really nicely, and uh, that's about it. Has there as long as you've been doing this five years here at Carnivore, right? Uh, seven years. Seven years at Carnivore. Yeah. Are there still nights when you get your ass handed to you with uh, steak orders? Uh, there was, not anymore because I don't have to cook the steaks anymore. <laughs> oh, dude, that's, that's such a punk ass answer. So what'd you put on there? What did you uh, oil uh on this there? just this just corn oil. So uh, corn oil is gonna give us the highest heat. I would, um, it's gonna give us higher heat. So it's got nothing up. to do with flavor. It's all no. about heat. No, it's all about heat and uh, yeah that's it. That's all. How that's do you normal. cheap out on a steak? Cheap out? Yeah, how do restaurants, how do the restaurants cheap out on a steak? Uh, they may use uh, a blend. Actually, what they may do, and oh, it's a criminal, criminal effect, is you would take these two, mix them together, salt and black pepper, mix them together, and uh -huh. put them in one container. A scoffier would like turn over in his grave if you ever seen that. It's just, it's bad. But why is that cheaping out? Because it's like, it, you don't know the ratio, like, it just doesn't, it doesn't work. It doesn't work, the salt extracts from the pepper, and it's like, it's just, it's bad. It's just bad ethics. It's more dishonoring than cheaping out. It's frowned upon. Yeah. And you should be hit over the head with the back of a knife. <laughs> Good stuff. Don't candy coat. <laughs> okay. You know, cooking them an hour before you need them. Oh, yeah. <laughs> you know? The sizzle. You're at home getting dressed for your party and your steak's being made for you. Yeah, right. What's up with that? Yeah. What is up with it? Who yeah. does that? So, people. That's why I'm asking. People yeah, do, and, uh, and people need to know. Right. Yeah. We don't. Yeah. So if your food's taking a while, it's because we're making somebody else. So a grayish hue is okay for a little bit on a dry aged steak, but you'll cut that off. But a grayish hue on your steak when it arrives at your table is not a good sign. <sighs> this is where we're probably gonna disagree. 
I tell people all the time. I say, if you like, if you like your steak well done, get it well done. The steak's not gonna be bad because Just, it's what you want. Right. Right. You know, it's almost like going into a department store and saying, yeah, I want that orange uh, shirt right there, and they're going, ah, you look better in purple. And a triple X, and you're a medium. Right. And you're like, I don't want that. Yeah. I feel confident. Right. You know, and you make a you make a fine point, chef. I still gonna order. Yeah, right. Medium, right? Exactly. Yeah. So I say, order what you like. Yeah. But don't be intimidated because you're paying for it. Yeah. Nobody's your waiter's not saying, actually, sir, could you order a medium rare? I'll cover that bill for you. <laughs> Have they ever done that? Well, it's happened <laughs> to me, but. So basically, we'll pop this in the oven here. Right. Sorry. Right up top. Yep. So oven is different than broiler. What's going on up here? Well, this just it's, it's rotating the air. So we have this fan here that cuts on and off and basically gives the air a circulation. Um, we have the option of uh, broiling directly on the grill or uh, popping it up top to give something at a little bit more time without being able to uh, char it too fast on the outside. So you're, so you, you guys are firing steaks. I mean, once you have the great protein, which yeah. you got great steak, uh -huh. it's pretty much, and you do your salt and pepper deal. Yeah. It's pretty much 95% timing from there on out. Oh, it's all timing, yeah. You wanna make sure you're on the same page with those guys, uh, with everybody in the kitchen, especially the uh, um, your uh, partners next to you, saute sides and fry, that we're all going up unanimously. Everybody's, everybody has basically a, a, a speed in a race, and yeah. we're all finishing at the same time. Right. So the slowest guy's gonna take off first, no disrespect. Sure, no. And the should. fastest guy is gonna wait. Yeah. And they should be timed perfectly. They should come out together. Cross the line exactly on the right. nose. Now, how long would you rest a cut like this? Uh, I would say at least about three to five minutes. Yeah. Um, this is pretty thin, but you know anything thicker, I would say about five, seven, you know, ten minutes. Um, under resting is just basically uh, it's not going to give you uh, the time that you need to let. Because it's meet. still cooking. Right. It is still cooking. And the thing is, is that the temperature is uh, it needs to redistribute. So it needs to be from top to bottom. That's where the, the, the blood is gonna go from top to bottom. It's gonna expand again. Yeah. Every, so when you cut into a steak and it's all in the core and everything's gray around it, it's because you got your steak too quickly. Didn't get a chance to rest. Right. So what happens once you rest it is that it's more even distributed from top to bottom and uh, it eats better, it chews better because it's not so condensed with the juices in, in the center. So you could have a perfectly marbled steak and over or under rest it and lose half the magic. Yeah, and I mean, basically it's just gonna result in you being pissed off. <laughs> I, don't, I don't wanna be an angry person. So Look at a... all that yummy, yummy, <laughs> fat, it's... protein, glistening yeah. beauty. I mean, I know everybody involved. I know the guy that brought them in. I know the guy that raised it. I saw it in its entirety. It's a big thing. You know? you know the guy that broke it down? Yeah. Yeah. Dude, you're awesome, but I just want you to know this is a vegetarian's nightmare of a segment. <laughs> These stories make their blood curdle. Um, this particular segment does, but we do cater to vegetarians, so please don't be intimidated by coming into the steakhouse. <laughs> there are no peanuts involved in this process. No one with allergies. You're good. You got any? Do you have any prerogatives on uh, protocols on where you should cut into a steak? I always like the cap of the ribeye um, because it has the best intertwined muscle um, to fat. Uh, that's always my favorite. Right um, here? Yeah. Well, I always go across there. Like this? Yeah. And I would take that. Little, yeah. Yeah. I'm not going to miss out on that fat. That yummy, glistening, gorgeous. It's like a kiss from the cow. Seriously. Look at this. It's like, it's like tender bubble yeah, gum in your mouth, only you haven't put it in. I mean, it, sh it should be really good. Don't, don't fake it either for the camera. <laughs> a little too much salt, otherwise, it's great. Yeah. Oh, I'm kidding. <laughs> <laughs> no, that's really tasty. <laughs> that's crazy marbling. Yeah. Well, it's damn good steak. What do you want me to say? Nothing else. Mm -hmm. I think our job here is done. I don't know how you can cut that with one hand, but uh, you want me to feed you or? Happy cows. <laughs>
They don't just make milk. Party fillets. One is rare. Some fillet, one rare. One chicken. Party style. Seven party salmon. Two mushroom risotto entrees. DDR, please. Heard that.